Yeah, where does Danny Elfman get those wonderful toys? And by toys, I mean musical ideas for his film scores. In a word, Herman. Bernard Herman was the most influential composer Hollywood has ever known. And I know everyone out there will say John Williams, but no, Williams learned a lot from old Benny, being 20 years older than Johnny T. Herman was an effective film score composer. He employed radically different styles and approaches. He utilized modern orchestration techniques, created new sound textures, and made modern harmonies accepted in film. His musical style was bold and direct, and not typical of the day. It was completely antithetical to the approaches of Max Steiner and Alfred Newman. Let's see what Herman does musically with one of his cues from Journey to the Center of the Earth. Look at these two chords. They are F minor and A minor. They are two chords whose roots are a third apart and share C as a common tone. Today we recognize this movement as chromatic median. In an upcoming video, I will dive deeper into this house of harmony and detail its origins, but that's for another time. Listen to the following example. You can hear the chord movement in this cue. This is but one of the many examples found in Herman's music. Tell me you don't hear the Batman theme. Sitting in all those darkened theaters, a young Elfman would have been exposed to much of Herman's music. Listen to this short clip from Score, the podcast, Season 3, Episode 1. Danny Elfman himself is talking about the influence Herman had on him. I was a film fan, and I was also a fan of some film music, because uh, Bernard Herman connected with me when I was about 12 or 13, and I started noticing his name every film that he was on. Elfman was clearly inspired by Herman's music. Let's look at the Batman theme, which Elfman uses to great effect in this cue. The theme is six notes, which includes a rising and falling figure. We all know the melody, of course, but it starts on the one, then goes up to the two, minor third, and skips way up to the flat six drops down to the fifth degree, and then lands on the sharp four, which then becomes the third of the major two chord, A major in this example. You could think of G minor as the flat seventh chord in A major. In Neo-Romanian theory, the flat seven minor chord is the furthest away from the tonic. Click this link if you want to learn more. The chords essentially move from one minor, G minor, to the two major. Learn this pattern, boys and girls. Love it. Go to bed with it at night. Wake up in the morning with it and have breakfast with it. Play scales made up of notes from it. Much of Elfman's music, and in fact film music in general, rely on this harmonic pattern. Take a listen to this motif from Basic Instinct. James Newton Howard used it for his King Kong theme. Alan Silvestri used it for a film he scored called Identity. And here is John Williams using it in Hook. Elfman also varies the theme so that the melodic phrase rises into a kind of natural modulation, allowing for the theme to continue in another key, a minor key, which is actually a whole step lower than the beginning key. In this example, the theme starts in G minor, but cadences in F minor. Now for the cue. It begins after Batman's plane has just crashed. Vicky is rushing to the wreckage to investigate when the Joker quietly moves in on her. The cue follows the action of the two of them climbing up the stairs of a massive cathedral with Batman in pursuit. In between, there are cuts of the police pursuing. The cue opens with a figure dispersed among the brass. After the opening brass, tremolo strings play a rising and falling figure using notes from a D minor 6 chord.
Notice how the second violins play the same notes as the firsts, but they start two beats later. The harps add to the texture, starting with the glissando into 16th note falling figures. The tonality shifts down a whole step in bar 7 to C minor, and strings again play a rising and falling tremolo in bar 8 through bar 11. As Joker holds Vicky at gunpoint, Elfman introduces these shifting augmented chords, around bar 13, the implication of which is the whole tone scale, and is the loose theme of the Joker. He doesn't get a theme per se, but rather the whole tone scale tonality itself, which includes augmented chords and just general whole tone clusters. Winds dominate this section of dialogue, with oboes leading the charge and accompanied by organ. The first chord in 13 is an F sharp augmented, which moves up to a G sharp augmented. These chords shift back and forth until the final D9 sharp 11, a chord that underscores the shot of the cathedral's tower in bars 22 to 23. Two harps play a glissando figure marked ad lib, a blurry up and down figure on top of a 2D brass and string chord that contains all the notes of a D whole tone scale, except a B flat. Flutes, log drum, and Chinese woodblock nervously sound out during this augmented section to capture Vicky's fright. Since the characters are climbing up a cathedral, Elfman features the organ throughout this augmented tonality and much of the cue. The two leave the scene, and after an A-flat minor 6 chord in bar 27, Elfman introduces the Batman theme as our hero rises from the wreckage. Joker and Vicky enter the church as a solo piano sounds out with the chords from the Batman theme, C minor to D major. We now come to this magnificent four-bar tune of the cue as Batman makes his way into the church. Horns belt out the melody in bar 33, an octave jump of E to E in bar 1 while the orchestra sounds out an E minor chord. The melody moves up to G in the second bar, down to F while a C minor chord sounds. The tune repeats bar 33's material, but in the last bar, bar 4 of the tune, we come to the hook, a B-flat sharp 11 chord whose 11th, an E, resolves down a tone to the third, a D. Let's look at what the strings are doing. He has the outer voices, violin one and bottom viola, playing sextuplets mixed with triplets on an E minor chord. Notice the D sharp. The major seventh is only hinted at. Simultaneously, the inner voices, violin two and upper viola, play rising and falling triplets. The next bar, the instruments switch the figures. This is a very clever technique, alternating the motifs so that the players switch the fast sextuplets with the relatively easier triplets. Elfman's mind is fertile with this type of material, what orchestrators and composers in Hollywood call filigree. It's basically busy background material based on the harmony. It helps to fill out the aural space so that there aren't just chords and melody. This is extremely important to know and understand. This is what is meant by counterpoint. If you look at any composer's music, you will notice melody, harmony, and a background texture working simultaneously like clockwork. The Batman theme returns in bar 41 in B minor for two bars and then moves to D minor. From there, we move by chromatic medium to F sharp minor in bar 47. The previous A of D minor is now the third of F sharp minor. Elfman introduces dazzling arpeggios and strings, utilizing the technique of dovetailing. He does this so that there is a constant background of arpeggios, but it makes it easier on the players. Violin 1 plays the rising part on the downbeat and overlaps to the second beat, where the second violins play the falling gesture. Take a listen. You hear the firsts, then the seconds, and then all together. Bassoons and low strings play the Batman theme in A minor in bar 51 with a dovetailing string pattern in the background, which leads to violas taking over in bar 54 in A flat minor. 
Elfman shifts to C minor for one bar in 56, then back to A flat minor where horns boldly play the Batman theme. Violas in bar 60 take over the theme in B minor, with violins dovetailing arpeggios in the background. The music takes an unexpected turn in bar 63, as Joker kisses Vicky's shoe and drops it. Flutes, glockenspiel, and celesta play a playful but dark figure on an E-flat chord with passing notes between G and F sharp. The light texture does not last long, and a D7 chord leads from bar 65 into G minor in bar 66. Elfman takes the next four bars to shift back and forth between tutti chromatic chords, G minor to E-flat minor. Right before the cut, there is a statement of the Batman theme in B Lydian, but it starts on the third of the scale, a D sharp. Low strings and piano, along with the percussion, provide the rhythm of the police chase. Elfman combines this sharp, short rhythm with a drawn-out version of the Batman theme in flutes and violins starting in bar 75. Joker opens the hatch to the belfry, and Elfman brings back the big tune in bar 83, again in E minor. The point of this scene is to get to bar 100, where Joker's acid cuts the bolts of a gargantuan bell which will crush the steps below. Elfman spends this 17-bar stretch manipulating the harmony and melody to get it to a sort of cadence in bar 97 with a D minor tonality, which then shifts to an A-flat sharp 11 suspension, a resolution to A-flat, and finally the release of D minor in bar 100. Strings pound out triplet eighth notes in bar 100, followed by winds and trumpets doing the same in the next. The harmony shifts from a bar of D minor to the A-flat sharp 11 suspension for a bar. He does this three times. Bar 107 marks another change in the cue. The police are continuing their pursuit, and Elfman introduces a sextuplet slash triplet figure using notes of the B-flat octatonic scale. If you need a refresher on what the octatonic scale is, click this link. Notice the 5-4 bar in 107. Elfman inserts an extra beat so that the figure writes itself in bar 108. He wants the phrase to end on a downbeat in bar 112, just as Batman begins his ascension accompanied by the Batman theme. Gordon tries moving the big bell as the tragic motif returns. When he gives up, horns sound out a forceful perfect fifth call in bar 117. This sets up the modulation to the next bar, which has the Batman theme now in A minor in horns, trombones, and low strings. Elfman uses the Batman theme variation, meaning it modulates from A minor down a whole step to G minor in bar 120. The cue quiets down as Gordon's pursuit motif is heard in octaves in violas, cellos, and basses. In bar 123, flutes and strings take up this pursuit motif. Horns play the first note of the Batman theme in bar 123 and the second note of the theme in bar 124, leading to a modulation of B flat minor 6. The cue winds down from here to the end, utilizing the pursuit motif, which then leads to gradually decaying tremolo notes and violins. Let's look at the whole cue now to picture, and listen to how Elfman's music matches the visuals perfectly.
can be truly said that I have a bat in my belt.